Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be discussing the MVRVZ score. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Let's go ahead and jump in. So, the MVRVZ score stands for the Market Value to realized value z-score and this is something we've done a few videos on i don't really make that many videos on it but the reason why I, i'm bringing it up today is i actually saw about three people i think within the last like week ask me if i could talk about it so i just figured we'd do a very short video today and, and just take a look quickly at the mvrv z-score if you're not familiar with what it is uh here's a a brief description of it and and sort of a little paragraph on how you use it but Essentially, the MBRVZ score is just equal to the market cap of the asset in question, in this case, Bitcoin, minus the realized cap divided by the standard deviation of the market cap. It compares the market value and realized value in order to assess when the market is either overvalued or undervalued. So essentially, when it is below zero, it is a relatively attractive zone for Bitcoin. You can see we've in that, been in that zone a number of times over the years. And, and actually, you can see the last cycle, we went into it a couple of times, right? We sort of went over it over, it over here in, in late 2018 and 2019. And then we also went into it, obviously, in March of the halving year. The cycle before that, we essentially went into it in December 2014. And we mostly stayed in it until about October of the pre-halving year. Cycle before that, it was from September 2011 up until about December of 2011, so a relatively brief period. And what you'll notice is that all of the prior market cycle tops, if you want to call them that, had an MBRV Z score that ultimately topped out above six. Last cycle, that is only true if you take the first peak as the peak. If you take the second peak as the peak, the MVRVZ score was actually much lower. Um, but all things considered, whenever the MVRVZ score goes above six, there's a, it's a warning sign, right? It's a warning sign whenever you see it go above six. When you see it go below zero, that is a relatively attractive area to DCA into the market. So again, you know, I when I when I think about DCAing Bitcoin, what I do is I just stick to the risk metric. But when I make those risk metric videos, I will often say, you know, there, there's plenty of any plenty of indicators that you could use. It doesn't have to be the risk metric. This is a a, a fairly decent one. In and of itself, right? Uh, as a as a potential metric to follow, so it is. I, I think it's relatively useful in understanding, you know, how risky is the current market, um, and and you can see that like certainly not every major rally by the MVRVZ score. It's not like every single one leads to going above the six level. Um, we actually had a rally over here in in. May, June 2016, that took us to, to not even as high as we are right now. Um, but we did have a, you know, a fairly substantial pullback at that point. We also saw the MVRVZ score rally up to, in 2019, we saw it rally all the way up to 2.67. And then it, and then it sort of fell back in as the Fed cut rates. Right now, it is at 2.5, but you can see that the, the recent local top was actually 3.04, which basically represents half of the level before you get sort of that six target of, of where it becomes a warning for a potential market cycle top, like a, a cyclical top that lasts for many years. Okay. So again, you know, there's no guarantee in any single one of these rallies that you're going to immediately go above six. But what I like this metric for is really two things. Number one is whenever it goes below zero, 
it's a relatively attractive time to get into Bitcoin. In fact, I mean, you know, back in late 2022, people often asked me like what I was buying and I was like, well, just Bitcoin um, and, and, and not alts because of, of sort of my views on, on liquidity flowing back to the king and, and just wanting to stick with the safest asset. But you can see how there's times where it goes below zero. That's a relatively attractive time to get into the market. The times that it's above six, historically, you want to be running for the hills, right? I mean, you could argue like between zero and two uh, is still relatively low risk, all things considered. But <laughs> there are certainly times where you're still, you know, dealing with a 60, 70 percent correction, um, even even in that case. So but I, I think that the MVRBZ score is is really useful for identifying near the lows, right, near the lows, and near cyclical highs. It doesn't tell you when you're going to go to those highs, and it doesn't tell you when you're going to go to those lows. For instance, I mean, over here, we were at those lows in late 2011. And then again, in early 2015, right? I mean, it's not exactly every four years. Um, I mean, it's close, right? It's close, but it's not exact. And I mean, if you think about this, right? I mean, four years before January 2015 would have been January 2011. But I mean, January 2011, um, you know, was way back over here. We didn't get into the zero or below zero on the MVRBZ score until uh, late 2011. And then, you know, sort of in the early part of, of 2012, we were sort of flirting with that level. So again, it doesn't tell you when you're going to go to the higher levels. It doesn't tell you when you're going to go to the lower levels. And in fact, last cycle, when we went to the higher levels, it was actually in in February, right? It was actually in February of 2021. And the time before that was December of 2017. So, I mean, there's not, it, it's not exact. It does show you that some of the peaks come at, at sort of an irregular schedule. Some of the lows, uh, sort of an irregular schedule, but at least in, in sort of recent cycles, about every four years or so. When you got a black swan, if you get a recession, obviously it could occur even whenever, no matter where you are in the cycle, as this as last cycle showed us. So it doesn't tell you when it's going to occur, but it just says, hey, if it's below zero, it's usually a good time to, to DCA into the market. When it's above six, you're likely looking at a cyclical top at some point in the not so distant future. So that's what I like the MVRBZ score for. Again, if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. And again, check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. I know we mostly talk about Bitcoin uh, with a lot of these videos, but do note that a lot of these charts, we also have the same charts for a lot of, of different cryptocurrencies. And so make sure you guys check that out. Link is in the description below. I will see you guys next time. Bye.